Praise the Lord and happy Labor Day. Amen. Every first Monday of the month of September is a Labor Day holiday whereby we grill, we have parades, and just cherish the labor of our hands. But there is some significance spiritually to Labor Day, and that's what I want to share with you this uh, in this video clipping. You see, God in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 introduced himself to us as the Lord God who is the creator of the heavens and earth. As creator, he was a worker. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 2, we saw how God worked and rested from his works as a result of creation. And then in Mark chapter 6 verse 3, before Jesus was ever introduced as Savior, as a son of God, and so on and so forth, we saw in Mark 6, 3, that he was introduced as the carpenter, again, a worker. And then in Genesis 2, 15, after the creation of mankind, God's charge to Adam was to tend the garden, or rather, to tend or to work or to partner with God to tend for God's creation in order for to see the humankind flourish. And so what we're seeing in all of these scriptures is that there is a dignity to work in. There's a dignity to labor. Yes, I know many of us may not like our jobs, things happening there, you want to make a change, a transition, I get it, I understand that, but you must understand that God honors labor. He honors work. He honors our job. Why? Because in the original Hebrew, working and worship both have the same root word. Avoda. Avoda. Avoda in Hebrew means to work. It also means to worship. So what's, what does that mean? What does all of this mean? Simply saying, whether you are changing diapers, or you are building rocket, uh, space rockets or anything is in between. As long as you're doing it unto the Lord, you're worshiping. You're partnering together with God to enhance His creation, to advance human flourishing. And that's why work is so important. In Psalms 19 verse 17, the Bible says, God establishes the work of our hands. And I'm praying for you this weekend that God is establishing the work of your hands. Again, in Colossians chapter 3, in verses 23 and 24, Paul tells us that whatsoever we do, as long as we do it unto the Lord, God gives us an inheritance. Amen. So whatever your man of work, no matter what kind of job you have, be encouraged this Labor Day that you are working together with God to enhance His creation. And so, relax, chill, enjoy the day off, and while you're doing so, give God the glory in and through your work and worship. God bless you. I'll see you again next time. Love you. Amen.